Tara said, like, let me look through your phone right now, I'd be like, no. Who's this bitch photo you liked back in 2012? I'm like, I didn't even okay, know Okay, not 2012, were. but like 2021, when we were broken up. We're not married, like, we're not even engaged. Uh, just to clarify, she's, she would be the pregnant one. Well, maybe I need a break to go see if I need to fuck around with other people, then that's what I gotta do. I'd rather just end it or be together. We took a break for a week. We broke up. We babe. took a break <laughs> um. <laughs> for a week. All right, guys, before we start this video, I want to give a big shout out to today's sponsor, the biggest brand in the world right now, the hottest thing, T.O. <laughs> and the owner's here. Yeah, and I got the owner, the CEO, the artiste. Guys, this video is sponsored by T.O., you heard it correctly, and we just dropped a new vintage tea right in the shop right now. Click the link in the description to go get it now. Also, teasing new products coming. We got scarves and bandanas and we got beautiful hats that David loves wearing. Yeah, 85% of my clothes is T.O. It really is. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, well, but shout out to T.O. for sponsoring this video. Of course. You know, he paid me hundreds of thousands of dollars for this 60 second integration. <laughs> Enjoy the video. Enjoy the video. Oh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe because I'm picking two people who comment within the first 500 comments to win 50 buckaroonies, here they are. And then get the T with it. And get the T O with it. <laughs> Boom. Question number one. I believe in taking breaks in a relationship. Three, two, one. Chelsea, you want to start why you agree with this? Um, yeah, I think relationships can get a little overwhelming sometimes and uh, breaks are healthy to kind of figure out where you are, kind of check in with yourself and your path and i mean from personal experience it's worked for me so i do agree uh yeah i don't know my breaks i don't know i just feel like that's kind of off to me like is that just like a breakup i don't know if there's like a fine line there well i think a break is essentially a breakup but just it's like a pause right like it's a pause knowing that you're gonna get back together another time no it's no. like 50 50 if you guys yeah. are gonna get back together or not oh i think that's what i think a break is right okay I like that. I think you actually learn a lot while you're taking a break, things you realize that you didn't realize while you were together. So being in that break can teach you a lot. If you guys are ready to be together, show if you guys have grown or if you guys are still going back to bad habits or whatever it was that you made the break. Yeah, we actually took a break. I mean, I ended up calling back to her like two weeks later. <laughs> Let's go. So it was, it was a, a short break. <laughs> it was a short break. I broke up with her and then she was like- Wait, so that's a breakup. Yeah. yeah. That's not but, a break. But it's essentially, yeah. it was a What's break. What's a break? Because it was too short to really be a breakup. There's a difference between, I think, a break and a break up. That's what I'm saying. What is a break? We took a break for a week. We broke up. We babe. took a break um. <laughs> for a week. We did the exact same thing that they did. Wait, when did we take a break for a week? Do you remember that one time I said I need a week to myself? And I was like, I don't want to talk. And you wrote me letters, two letters. Oh, yeah. That was a break. I know. Not and then when I kicked up. you out of the house, we took a break for a weekend. <laughs> Is a break where you just don't see each other, but y'all are still together? Because then sure, why not? I think it might but mean if, a if different it's a thing break to every couple. And y'all broken up, that's a breakup, right? I don't know. Breaks are just like, it's either you broke up or you're together. <laughs> either way, I think if you both decide, hey, I think we need some distance and like, I think distance we need two weeks. Two weeks to just reset, to miss each other. Is it called a break or is it just like, let's just not hang out for them? Because no, there's a break, a break. add in that you go like. That's a break. You, like you're taking a separate time from each other, like you're not Can you hook breaking. up with other girls? No. Because I, I thought well, with a break, break, like you could, could like hook up with somebody else. Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the whole Ross and Rachel yeah, thing, Yeah, the right? Ross and Rachel thing. Yeah. yeah. We're on you a have break, to talk about and it's that like, uh, ahead of time. Yeah, you have to talk. It's, it's based like, on your own personal decisions. Yeah, it's yeah. different for it's every different for everybody. couple. Yeah. I, for me, I'm very like, I either want to not be with someone or I do want to be with someone. So if I'm going to do a break, I probably want to break up with them. So that's yeah, just... Yeah, if there's a reason, then we'd probably... I'd just, okay, I would rather just not. The people that I've been on and off with, like, I'm, I just wish I would have cut it from the start. So. I think everyone's different. If you want to take, to take breaks and, like, feel like you need that for your relationship, then that's completely fine, too. But I, I can't do that break or else I'm going to get more confused. I'd rather just end it or be together. I believe in breaks. We done it in the past and it works. Like, like David was saying, like, you just got to take a little break from each other every once in a while. I think it's... I think it, if anything, it's healthier for the relationship. Uh, we went through something during COVID, which I'm sure a lot of other couples did as well. COVID was pretty hard, but you know, we made it out alive and I think we're stronger than ever. Did you guys say, let's take a break or was it like a breakup? No, so we broke up. We've had break, we've, we broke up twice. Like, <laughs> we've had a break once. 
Yes, but both are beneficial. You, both you, are beneficial. You, you learn a lot. It's dependent from... on your relationship for sure. And like honestly, now I don't think we would ever do another. We would never have another break. Dang it. Can. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no more breaks ever. <laughs> Unless they're beneficial. Well, we may have a break after this, so I'll yeah, let you know. So are we canceling the club this Friday or what? I guess so. <laughs> what can people from the agree side say about a break that will help people on the disagree side to understand what a break is? It makes you stronger, it makes the relationship stronger. It makes you feel like you, you understand. Gym. It makes you like, go to the gym more. I feel like sometimes what? people <laughs> people can go through like stagnant times where it's just like this, and a break will make you think, okay, am I okay? being without this person or can't. I just feel like a break feels like, it's like, oh, I just want to take a break so I can just go like mess around. And it's like, no, it's like, that's why either you're breaking up or you're with someone. Well, yeah, that if someone like, you take a break and then you go fuck someone. It's fucked up. Okay, but sometimes you have to do that. Let's all fight. I yeah. feel like sometimes you have to, if you're like, oh my God, is this my person? I'm freaking out. Well, maybe I need a break to go see if I need to fuck around with other people, then that's what I got to do to, to know that this is my person. It, break up. That, that's fine. Break up. Wait, did you do break that? Break up, no breaks. Did I do I that? Did no, no, I'm no, just I saying. Talking, I was talking to Grace, I was like, did you do that? Does anybody want to change their answer? Nah. All right, please go back to baseline. Baseline. All right, question number two. White lies in a relationship are okay. Three, two, one. Can I stay in the middle? Yeah, so I feel like White lies can be good in instances where I'm trying to validate my partner and make him feel more secure. Like for example, you have a huge dick. <laughs> so you don't think David's hot? Huge. When he's like, "Oh, am I the best kiss you ever had?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure." <laughs> or whenever he's like, "Did you watch my last video? What'd you think about it?" I'm like, "Loved it. Have not even seen it." Damn, so, it's true. <laughs> I'm joking, she doesn't I'm watch my videos. That's a fact. Okay, that kiss one was. We have to talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up. It's a joke. No, I think they're healthy. You know, sometimes you just, you're looking for validation. Like, I know sometimes we're in bed and I'm like, that was great, huh? And she was like, yeah. And I know it was like <laughs> mid, but that's okay. Cause there will be great times. <laughs> Same with her. Like, she was like, do you like my fucking cow shoes? <laughs> and I'm like, sure. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> hey, so I like, like your cow shoes. Yeah, nice. he did compliment yeah. my shoes. Yeah, no, J JC liked them, so I'll trust him. They're good. See the white lies? They work. <laughs> they work. Um, I don't like strongly disagree, but I feel like, at, at, yeah, like all the cow shoe, the little things, those don't really matter. But like, at what point do those little white lies like venture off into lying and become an actual problem? I'd just rather not start with the, I don't know, but I, at the same time, I, I don't think they're bad to lie about nasty cow shoes, like who cares? <laughs> I'm, I'm only in the Excuse middle me. because of surprise birthday parties. That's, I feel like that's, that's, what I was say. that's the only white lie. But like other than that, it's like, I would much prefer like honesty. I think honesty is the best thing, so. I agree, that's the only reason I came here is because little surprise things, like I will lie. I'd want you to lie to me too about a surprise. About a surprise, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm pretty honest with everything that I tell Kian. <sighs> Why'd you look at me like that? I was looking at what you were wearing because you wear the same stuff every day, so like sometimes, you know. Yeah, you look really but nice today, Kian. He looks nice today. Looks, you nice look every day. You do. That might be a lie, who no. knows? See, he you know, looks, no, I, no. I, I, I want like honestly, like if I ask like for my clothes and stuff, like how it look, because it's like I genuinely want to You can't pick and choose when people if I look good or not, you know? Like I'd rather have that honestly, for sure. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I, the reason I stepped over here is because of the surprise, because I do a lot of surprises for her. So I have to like sometimes like be like, oh, you know, no one's coming and then ends up everyone's being there for like a surprise birthday party or something. And I hate it. But I guess what's the definition of white lies, right? Is it just like small little things that, you know, just, it's like for fun. It's like a funny little lie, whatever. It's something that wouldn't matter. Like at the end of the day, does Grace care that much if he likes her shoes? No, cause she likes her shoes. Well, I do like her shoes. That was just a joke guys. <laughs> Putting it out there. I love the shoes. Shoes. Thanks. I love your shirt. Super cute. TL. Sponsored. Also, I wouldn't mind it if I ask a lot of questions and sometimes I ask inappropriate questions that I really don't want the answer to, but for some reason my mind's like, ask him like what he was doing when you guys broke up. And then I, even though I don't want to hear it, I'm like, I hope he lies to me and doesn't tell me something I don't want to hear. Cause I'm toxic like that. And but, I don't. Um, and then she that's hates where me. I'm okay. 
I know. I'm okay if he no, lies. I'd say the honesty there. I would say I would. Tell I wouldn't the truth. lie about that. Yeah, even then even the if truth it's brutal, will come out yeah, later, and it. then it's even worse. Yeah, for stuff like that, you got to tell the truth, even though you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah that's but that's like my toxic trait. Like, just lie to me because I will ask and ask and ask, and then hurt my own feelings. But what about at the end when you're like, when you're mentally, you're like, lie to me, lie to me, like, don't tell me. And then late, like one day, a year later, you're like asking the same question and he tells you the truth and you're like, why the fuck have you been lying to me? No, because I know myself and I know I like push him to, like, that's what I want in the moment if I'll get it. And then if it happens later on a year from now, I will deal with it then and there and like go through the motions. Yeah. But in that truth. moment, and it's not like it happens a lot, it's just like. I go into detail. Sometimes I get a little insecure and I fucking ask questions when I shouldn't. Does anybody want to change their answers? I guess I would go here and just be like, yeah. Gang. Question number three. I sometimes worry about my partner's friends who are of the opposite sex. Three, two, one. I mean, I don't worry, but like. Speaking truth, Bebe. I just feel like I trust him. I mean, girls could do anything. And I trust his friends. But at the same time, it's not really about the friends to me. It's like whether or not I trust him. And I do. So I'm not worried. He does have some, which he doesn't hang out with really much anymore. But he's had like other friends, you know, that he doesn't hang out with all the time. And even if he went to go hang out with those girls, I wouldn't be like sitting at home like worried because at the end of the day, I'm pretty confident that he would just break up with me <laughs> if he didn't want to, you know something else. I, I wasn't always perfect, but I feel like I've changed and like I've, you know, I've become more trusting and better in the relationship. I used to be pretty like wonky, you know, kind of like over there status. Free, yeah, free. I used to be over there a little <laughs> bit, but you know, we've been together for a while. I, I trust everything. Well, about you used her. to be over there, meaning like I used to. I used to like kind of have doubts or just like think, oh. get in my head, overthink. You know what I mean? But I feel like I've changed. I, I trust all of her friends. You know, I trust her more than anything. So I think that's what it comes down to. I trust Grace. But like at the end of the day, you're like, who knows? Like she, she has guys that she goes to the gym with. I'm okay with that. But you know, why, why do they need to teach her every day how to re-squat? No. <laughs> like she, she gets it, you know? She gets it. Yeah, they're personal trainers and they're training her for free. But like, I don't know these guys that well. You know, they're not my friends. You never, anytime I tell you about anything, you don't express that it bothers you. So I don't know. It's for know. the video. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it, it doesn't really bother me. But like, I, the reason why I don't strongly disagree because I don't know a, a true guy's intentions. I know you'll hopefully say no <laughs> <laughs> if a guy passes at you. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, <laughs> I personally, I like the fact that he's able to be friends with girls and not make things weird because I know a lot of guys who do have friends that are girls, they make it uncomfortable for the girl or they aren't able to hold like a genuine friendship. So I actually value that he is able to be friends with girls and genuine friends, like never makes anything weird. Um, and it helps that like I know all of his friends and they've actually become like my friends as well. So I have never felt insecure in that department, yeah. If I was worrying about her friends, then I feel like that's like an issue within myself. And I feel like it wouldn't be fair to like project that onto her. If she does have friends that are like su sus like that, then I'd like expect her to tell me about that or. Uh... Yeah, like Grace was saying, I'm happy that if Jake has girlfriends because it makes me realize that like, you know, he can actually hold a friendship with a girl and not see them as just like, you know, something that's like hot or like you read like places that uh, guys only end up being friends with girls that they find attractive. I know that's not the case with at least Jake. Yeah, we don't so, like we don't like separate the world like boys, girls. Yeah, I just think it's like a friend is a friend, and if it's anything more than that, then that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it should. Friendship's friendship, no matter who it is, whether Praise. it's a girl or a guy. Um, yeah, I agree with what Jake said about you know if you are if you have an issue, you're portraying your insecurities, and the reason why I'm standing here is because there are some self issues that I'm dealing with. It's not that I'm worried about his girlfriends. It, I just, again, I like to ask a lot of questions and sometimes it comes off like, uh, like I'm worried, but I just, I like, I don't like to know things, but my mind is like. You're just curious. I'm You're very George. curious. Yeah, and I'm also a little insecure. So curiosity, insecurities, that's why I'm just a little disagreeing, but. I'm so nosy, it's okay. I just want to know too. everything. Even if it's not something I shouldn't know. Oh, I'm yeah. so nosy. Same. I mean, I'm pretty secure. Also, I don't know many, I don't know, she has a lot of friends. You know, she still follows people from like high school and stuff and like, it's fine, like whatever, gives a fuck. 
Yeah, Don't them are harder than you, like, baby. I've never so I'm saying, them. baby, yes, we're secure as fuck. Like, I know I mess around with her sometimes. Yeah, I'd be like, I, I, I was like, I want to box yeah. that guy. <laughs> like she, oh, that was actually a picture of Ayla, her and Ayla. With two guys. Yeah, a, she was getting on Ayla's shoulders, but there was two guys helping her up with oh like. My God. I'm like, who's this guy holding your hand? I want to box him. <laughs> oh yeah, but it's all. But jokes. it was just a joke. Wait, you're in the picture. <laughs> I was holding hands with someone. I'll show you the pic. <laughs> Cut the video. All right, cool. Does anybody want to change their position? <laughs> he starts walking all the way over there. Um, if anything, I would switch over there, because like at the end of the day, maybe like there's that fucking one guy where like, I don't, yeah, you never know. You, you dude. can't trust everyone for you sure. Like, I don't I'm, trust I'm not stupid. Everyone. You put but trust but out there. But I do there's trust her enough. Yeah, where I I'm chill. Yes. But it's it's I'm not. But it's not that. Like I trust Ayla with my heart. She could take it out like a heart surgery. I feel if keep there, it alive. I feel like you know if I mean? there if there is someone like worth worrying about, then I feel like you should expect your like the trust within your partner. But if it was like someone that wasn't really a friend, then I mean. What if it's like a friend with benefits? <laughs> back in the day. Or he's just trying to like, like I feel like there I'm might. I'm actually gonna switch. There might be a guy who's like, oh, like yeah, I'm Grace's friend, but I, dude, if her and David break up, yeah, just first in line that. kind of thing. Yeah, That's what first I'm well, I, I, I guess you could worry then, but right now you're good, right? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I feel like it's almost like driving. I, I trust him as a driver, but I don't trust the other drivers that are fucking coming in and out of the lane. No, I dodge them, baby. Yeah, no. I know, I but I always think of that. It's like, I don't trust what the fucking parked? drivers. What if he's parked? He can still get hit by another car. He could get rear-ended. Yeah, I got insurance. Whoa, but I trust ending? him what as a driver. Heck? No, no, but the, the other drivers have to be his friends. I have triple So you're like going on a road trip somewhere together? Do they have any different insurance? vehicles? Wait, wait, there's a girl who rear-ended you? Dude, oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> Question number four. I'm okay with my partner looking through my phone whenever they want. Three, two, one. I'm gonna stay here on neutral. Ooh, that's a good little split up. Tara, what? we can start with you. Strongly disagree? Yeah, that's my phone. If he wants to look at it, he can ask me and I can that's hand it to I him feel. anytime he wants. But he has to ask me first. I don't know, I feel like I've never given him a reason to want to go through my phone. It's my private thing. I have my family stuff on there. I have girlfriends who will text me with personal stuff that it's not for his eyes. You know what I'm saying? If he had a trust problem, then he could ask me and I could show him my phone. But I've never looked through his phone. You know what I'm saying? So I would expect the same. Respect. Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, there's like my life, there's Tara's life, and then there's our life. And like my phone is my privacy. Like I deserve, you know, everyone deserves like some privacy. She could look through my phone if she wants to, but if she was to like take my phone and look through it, I feel like it's like an invasion of my privacy. It's like disrespectful. Yeah, I feel the same way. Like Grace can look through my phone whenever she wants, but if she's like, if I'm waking up and she's going through my phone, I'm like, why do you think I'm being sus? And why do you feel the need to go through my phone? Let's attack the situation, like let's use communication to do that. I have stuff there that probably, you know, conversations with guys that maybe I just don't want her to look at, you know? Not even talking about her, like we're talking shit about fucking, me and JC are talking shit about fucking Jake and Kean, you know, then she's gonna know. Wait, fucking us? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be upset, but everyone wants to look through someone's phone for a reason, so like might as well just tell me the reason. Like if it's something suspicious, then we can talk about it, and if you really need to see it, then I'll show you, but. Let's see your phone. <laughs> Not on me. Like, I just don't really like the idea of like going behind someone's back and looking through their phone. Anytime we've ever been like, hey, can I see your phone? For like, it's not even like a question of like having to like cancel out of something or whatever. It's just like, here, there's nothing to hide. But I just, I like the respect of just asking like, hey, can I see your phone? Obviously, if there's something like super bad, like in a past relationship of mine, I felt like something bad was really happening and I needed to know and he wasn't telling me the truth and I had to check and I found something. But like, I was consistently asking him to tell me the truth and he wasn't, so I needed to like kind of figure it out and luckily I figured it out. But you know, that's like the only circumstance where I have personally gone through someone's phone. The question wasn't like going through it while you're sleeping or like doing it without them knowing. That wasn't the question. I feel like everyone's misinterpreting the question. The question was like, are you okay with your partner going through your phone, right? Anytime they want, whenever they whenever want. Whenever they want, yeah. If you if you bring it up and you tell me, go through it at two in the morning, you know. Yeah, that's what I, I, I do. I have absolutely it. nothing to hide. So if you want to do it, cool. Do I strongly agree? No, that's fucking weird to do, but do I agree? Yeah, I have zero to hide. Yeah, like go through my phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you think you need to ask or if, do you if, think if you can I'm, just go? If I'm surprising you for your birthday and you look at it, that's not you, who gives a fuck. I mean, you ruin it for yourself. You look at my embarrassing photos. I mean, you, you've seen my butthole, dude. What's, what's embarrassing? <laughs> but what if like you're going to the doctor 
And you took like a picture of like a growth on your gooch. She would already and you're know like, what That's it is, like though. your privacy. Like, you, don't look at my growth on my gooch. I mean, but she walked into it. It's like if I put my hand in a bear trap and it gets set off. I mean, that's on me. So I don't strongly agree because I think it's weird if you're uh, setting an alarm to go through my boyfriend's phone. It's also like an insult if they ask a little bit. Don't you yeah, get taken aback? Like, I feel like it is like it's like. Yeah, I would be taken aback. Yeah, For don't sure. you get taken aback if somebody like your significant other is like. Let me see your phone. That's what I'm saying. It's weird, like. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I'm not in strongly agree. If Tara said like, "Let me look through your phone right now," I'd be like, "No." <laughs> really? Because like I have like my boundaries and like you know, because then I feel like it's a slowly falls into more and more. If he ever gave me a reason to not trust him, and then I asked and he said no, then I'd be like, "Yo, why?" But because he's never given me a reason not to trust him, I don't care if he says no. I don't think I'd even ask because I don't care what he talks about with his friends. Yeah, I would never ask. I don't care. Um, yeah, no, I I think the respecting someone's privacy is like very valid for sure. But you know, say I'm like over here getting ready and Chelsea's phone's dead and my phone's next to her, like, oh, I need to look up the time when that's or what the address fine. is. Yeah, I feel like that's like, not, yeah, go, that's not yeah, for sure. For but if though. she, yeah, if I caught her like kind of snooping through, if I was like asleep, I think that'd be so weird. That'd be such a yeah. weird turn off. And I'd be like, what the hell, what are you, why are you doing that? Like, you do not trust me or, you know, I think that's where the communication would have to come into play. It's just fully based on trust and it's fully based on like, if it's, if it's a weird situation, uh, if I was just, you know, having a good old time and I'm like on stream and she's back there like, like I'm rifling through my phone, that's, that's for sure not cool. That's something weird, but I mean, same time I don't have a problem with it because I'm not to hide. Um, yeah, I think my mind automatically went to, am I okay with him going through my phone or using my phone? And automatically I said, I think yes, like kind of what he said. I feel like we're always using each other's phones to like look something up or call someone or t whatever. You know what is a fear of mine? If Grace ever goes, let me look at your phone and she's like trying to Google something and then she just pushes Safari and there's like a porn tab up there. <laughs> like, that's just, that's happened to me. Like, Keen asked me to Google something once and then it just clicked it at a point. I was like, yeah, I was jerking it earlier. Sorry about Stop, that. Stop, David. Like, no. if she did that, it just it would be more embarrassing. Wait, that actually happened? He saw? Yeah. That's awesome. Anybody want to change their answer? Nope. All right, back to baseline. Thank you. Question number five My partner is the jealous one in the relationship. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Some booty. David, you're in the strongly agree. Why is that? Just because there's no jealous bone in my body. I mean, obviously there is, there could be, and I might have some like thoughts here and there, but I think the more jealous one is definitely her. Like she'll what? be like, yeah. What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> she'll just, you know, things will happen where like, I'll be like, remember when we went to go watch this movie? And she's like, Wrong bitch. That wasn't <laughs> That's so me. Funny, Grace. <laughs> Who was it? Oh, you know. Okay, I, mean, like, I do do that, side. but I don't like actively. It's like more so as a joke. I don't. Yeah, actively, yeah. But you yeah. joke about it a little bit more than I do. Because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> That's why you're yeah. here. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, I don't really care. She'll be like, "Who's this girl's photo you liked?" It's still a joke. Wait, but. me? I've never once done that. Wrong bitch. <laughs> there you go. Wrong one. <laughs> I hate you so much. What about you, Grace? He said he has no jealous bone in his body. How do you feel about that? I mean, he does. I don't know why he's saying he doesn't. Ooh, I don't. <laughs> jealous David. I don't. I swear. He does, but it's not like extreme. It's also, we both kind of joke about it. We never get too butthurt because we don't cross any boundaries, I feel like. So it's never been like a real issue. Um, but I think we both do for joke. Now. Yeah, for now. Yeah, I'm not going to go to strongly agree because I think it's pretty even. So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt of thinking that it's me, and yeah. Out of us two, I mean, maybe, probably, just because I feel like I'm just like very much so like not at all, but I don't think she's jealous until a point where it's unhealthy at all. So yeah, that's why I don't want to do like a strongly agree or whatever. Yeah, he's not the jealous one in our relationship. Um, I wouldn't say I'm super jealous, but I, out of us two, for sure. I mean, we were at the club once, and recently and this guy comes and grabs my waist right in front of Jay-Z and Jay-Z 
well, I grabbed his hand and kind of just like tossed him to the side. But JC, the way he reacts, he's, yeah, I really like it. He really handles himself well, way better than I dork. do sometimes. He's a dork. I don't know where Yeah, about. I know, but even if a dork, it probably a dorky made his life girl came that. up to you, I would be like, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I would yeah, for sure. react completely well, different. But Chelsea would get jealous of like shit that happened like 19 years ago. She's like, who's this bitch photo you like back in 2012? I'm like, I didn't even okay, know Okay, not 2012, were. but like 2021 <laughs> when we were broken up. The different story. Break. Uh, we break. were on a break. It was a break. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, it's it's a weird one. I'm I'm super neutral on this one. I have no yes, I have no no. Like I'm I'm super right in the middle. Like I don't think she's jealous. You right. only have one story of me being jealous. That's it. So you want me to walk over there? All right. <laughs> there's there's like, there's been a couple stories that I, I can I can mention, but do I think she's the more jealous type? No, so I'm gonna stay neutral. Ooh, so you're that means you're the more jealous. I'm well. <laughs> no, I'm not the I'm not the more jealous one. I don't think. I maybe I used to be. Oh yeah, beginning Same. relationship, I would have been over there for sure. Why are you over there now? Because you're getting better, so I'm moving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm maybe not, maybe I'm 2023 over there. I'm not, I don't know, I'm Dude, not really... you were jealous back in the day for sure. Was I? But now you're confident. Now you're good. I'm, I'm more confident in the relationship now. I have, I have full trust. There's nothing wrong with being jealous. It's yeah. a good little characteristic. Nick Jonas is. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like good at this one. point, like in a relationship, you can't really be jealous. Yeah. Like if, yeah, if I were yeah. to see her hitting on a guy, that's not me being jealous. That's like deep rooted in like, that's, that's me being like hurt. Being jealous is of someone that's doing something that you're not, that you could be doing. No, he's gotten so much better. Like we, and, and it's weird because we've, we actually talked about this. Like at one point there's a difference between being like jealous and then just like not being happy with something. Like he's not, we, we had like a s discussion one time about like, oh, if a guy came up to you and massaged your back cause your back hurt or something, if it was your friend. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, you'd be like, I would not be okay with that, like blah blah blah. But that's not like a jealousy, like it's weird. That, There's yeah, like that a would line. Just hurt. It's just a boundary. Wait, what if it was a that masseuse? Would just be like, not cool. What? I wouldn't be what jealous. if it was a masseuse? That was a dude. I wouldn't be like, ooh, I wish that was me. <laughs> right. That, it's not a jealousy more, thing. That's but... more of like a, oh, that, that kind of hurts. Like, well, that's your boundary, and that's fine. That should be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think either of us are ever jealous. Uh, the only sense of jealousy I'd say that I have. Fear of missing out, FOMO. Like if she's doing something really fun, I'm jealous if I wasn't there. I kind of agree with Keen and Ayla, where it's like, I don't think there should be jealousy in a relationship as much as boundaries. So if like a girl was doing something to Jake, I wouldn't be jealous. I'd be like, well, that's not my, that's my boundary. You know what I'm saying? I like what Jake said. Sometimes I'm jealous of Ayla's Yeah, sometimes like, I'm jealous of like fun yeah. or like Ayla's, something that yeah. you're better at than the other person. I think Ayla's more fun than me. Sometimes I'm jealous yeah. of that. Like I wish I had her social skills, not her height though. Dude. All right, cool. Does anybody want to change your position? No. All right, perfect. Let's get back to baseline. Thanks. Question number six. I want to have kids in the next three years. Three, two, well. Sorry, one. sorry, sorry. Ayla, run. Sorry, I'm running over all the way over here. Ayla. Is there an extra over here? Wait, what? I think I'm here. Ah. <laughs> You're not even ah. as strongly agree, so. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Get over it. Grace, only one standing in neutral. Dude, what the fuck? We've talked about it. You know, I know Talk we have, yesterday. but it's hard. I think it's hard to put a timeline on it, especially if like we're not married, like we're not even engaged. So it's like you don't. Damn, step <laughs> Maybe up, in three years if you put a ring on it. No, I'm kidding. We need views <laughs> for money to get this ring. Yeah, there you go. Views so I can buy her a ring. Please like and subscribe. Yeah. Boom. I just think it's hard to put a time stamp on it because honestly, I would love to have kids. Um, I just can't say exactly when. I feel like it's gonna happen. In three years. It could, and it, I won't be upset if that's the case. If it's in three years, I'm not gonna be upset. I feel like it's different for her because like I'm old as fuck, <laughs> I'm 30. <laughs> She's like young, tender, sweet. <laughs> She's ripe, you know? She's ready. She's 25, you know? I'm a senior. So like at 33, I'm like, God damn. You know, that's old. I should be having kids by then. You're 30 now. Oh, yeah, You no. made it sound like you're 30. But in three years, yeah, I'll be yeah. 33. So hopefully by then, I have a million subs, you have a ring, we have kids. <laughs> you know. Goals. I finally <laughs> paid my taxes or something, I don't know. <laughs> Ian, Ayla, both and strongly agree? Let's go. Is there I something mean, you want to tell us? You gonna be popping out baby soon? Y'all trying to start a family channel? Uh, just to clarify, she, she would be the pregnant one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think Wait, so. not you? He's trying to be. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> um, three years, come on, bruh. 
I think Come I'm, on, I think, I think I'm. I think I'm ready. Next three years, yeah. Tomorrow, I mean, I don't know. We're practicing. <laughs> practicing what? Practicing on how to have a baby. We need to get that down first. Okay. And then we'll try for a baby. <laughs> um, I mean, three years, yeah. We could have a Key and Junior, or a, what are we? A Stefan. Stefan. We're, gonna go over We're that. thinking of names. <laughs> Stefan. 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 Yeah. yeah. Or Greg. Sounds like a character. Or Gregorio. <laughs> Gregorio. <laughs> Gregorio. Ayla, ready. <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, are you ready tomorrow? She's ready yesterday, dude. No. <laughs> Basically, long story short, we are pretty, we've talked about it recently, um, just because we're both in very good places in our lives. And there was one time where it was like a little bit of a scare moment on my end. I had like a little bit of a scare. And instead of us being totally like not okay with it, we were kind of like, okay, if this happens, we're actually okay with it. Which then totally changed our minds into being like, wait, actually, we are kind of in a really good place in our life if something happened. So that's where we're at. I don't know if I'd ever be a good mom. I don't want to put a baby out into the world that I wouldn't be cool to take care of. Maybe my mind will change in the future. I'm only 22. You'd I don't be a think great I'm... mom. No, I wouldn't. I just right. don't see motherly instincts in me. And I just don't really like babies or kids that much. So for me, like, I don't mind having a mini me. I think a mini me <laughs> would be an awesome idea. But within the next three years, I feel like I have too many like dreams and goals and like I need to like focus on myself because Tara got a dog and like that thing is already like a baby and it already like restricts some of our lives and we hate that. I mean like- We love sugar, but it's hard to plan your life around something yeah. when you have so many things you want to do. Yeah, like and I it's, just- It's not fair to pop something out that you can't be 24 seven with. I don't know, if we had like an accidental baby, I don't know. We wouldn't. I, we wouldn't, and if we did, I'd be a really bad dad, because I'd be out partying. <laughs> you can bring the baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, I said this in the last video. You're pregnant, is that what you said in the last video? Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> Congrats, guys. Um, no, I <laughs> never wanted to have kids until maybe two years ago. And I think it's when I started seeing my cousins having kids and getting married. And I grew up with so many cousins, and it was the funnest thing. I had the best childhood. And so I kind of want that for my kids. His sister just popped a baby. My cousins, they're on like their third, fourth. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in my late 30s. I feel really good. In like your late I'm 30s? At, Late 20s, baby. Late 20s, sorry. Um, I was like, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we, know, if, we like, were to, if we were to have like a baby, I'd say 30 is like a good time. Yeah. Well, that's my I mean, personal opinion. I mean, I'm in my late 20s, so I feel like in the next three years, I should at least be somewhere close to that. I feel like we've talked about it a lot. Um, I'm always kind of like on the fence about like obviously timing stuff out. I think just things will happen naturally and you just kind of have to go with the flow, right? You but, can do a stream when she's like giving birth. So like 12 hours, she of her just like, ah! Stop. Um, but I feel like, yeah, same with them. We're in a, a really good spot in our lives and uh, we, we wouldn't mind it, you know, at all. Uh, but as far as like staying in this line rather than going to strongly disagree, it's like, yeah, just putting a time on it um, really kind of puts pressure on things and I just don't want that for myself. And Well, I work great under pressure, so if it were Yeah, so do I, so, oh, you know. Yeah, I feel, I feel like if I was to, it, I want it to be the moment where I could give them absolute full attention. Like, yeah. I could give them everything that they would need. Also, you got nine months to prepare, so. Yeah. Something to keep in mind. Write that down. Nine months to prepare, so. We're gonna do a big bow. Yeah, ready? Red bow, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Boom. All right, guys, make sure, uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to these guys, these amazing couples. I love their relationships. Go follow them, go check them out. How'd you guys like the video? It was a good it's conversation. Good. good conversation. Mm -hmm. Are you guys gonna argue about anything? Fuck yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna go through her oh, phone. Yeah. I'm gonna have children in exactly three years from today. Hey.